and resettle into your space. And just spend a minute settling with the body and the breath. And keeping the mind spacious, but not spaced out. Relaxed, but not vague. Focused, but without stress. Just the breath. And then nudge the four measurable thoughts back to the forefront of your mind. Love, compassion, joy, equanimity. Wake them up in your own words. Let them reignite in your heart, motivating this practice. And then reflecting specifically and directly on love. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. The happiness that we wish for them being the deep, stable, joyful contentment not the ego gratification or the hedonic pleasures. Those can come and go, but what we wish for sentient beings is the deep and abiding peace, colored with joy, true happiness. And we wish for all sentient beings to have the causes of happiness. The causes being ethics, altruism, 
positive states of mind. Beneficial actions of speech and body that flow from them. Not talking about superficial conditions. Deep causes. Thinking, may I have these? May all sentient beings have these? And then reflect on some words from other thinkers. From has said, love is the absence of fear. And there is a lot of truth synthesized in that very short phrase. Nothing wimpy about forbearance. A powerful quality of mind, the quality of strength and courage. And that fearless strength is the foundation for the cultivation of loving kindness. And reflecting on this sets the stage for a powerful protection. You can dwell in it like a walled city in which loving kindness can be safely cultivated. The practice then moves into the realm of imagination, opening the heart to let loving kindness flow forth in the form of four expressions, starting with ourselves. May I be free of enmity. May I be free of affliction. May I be free of anxiety. May I be well and happy. Starting with the first of the four, may I be free of enmity, the state or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to something. Let's expand on that. May I be free of malice, free of hatred, free of the affliction of anger and irritation, of rage, and resentment. This does not imply passivity or simply accepting all adversary, adversity and injury. It does imply a freedom from this affliction of the mind. It implies a freedom to respond to adversity with passion, with energy, with power but without this deformation of the human spirit. As we let this yearning flow forth, may I be free of enmity. 
recall the types of situations that have in the past elicited enmity or any other flavors of hostility. Anything from minor irritation and annoyance to boiling rage, hatred. Think of the types of situations where you suffer in this way and of course are likely to cause suffering for others. Use your memory. Then moving from the power of memory to the power of your imagination. Visualize how you might respond to similar situations in the present and in the future. But now you rise to them with strength of patience and without the affliction of enmity. Bring forth all your creativity and the wisdom of your imagination, as well as your memory. Imagine meeting a version differently. With the heart open. Picturing yourself responding differently makes it more possible for the present, for the future. Encouraging and awakening these possibilities are a form of kindness to yourself, a real way to love yourself, to free yourself from anger of all types.
and then expanding this love from for just yourself to all sentient beings reflect on what it is love without desire to possess knowing well that in the ultimate sense there is no possession and no possessor this is the highest love love without speaking and thinking of I, knowing well that this so-called I is mere delusion. Love without selecting and excluding, knowing well that to do so means to create love's own contrasts, dislike, aversion, hatred. Love embracing all beings, small and great, far and near, be it on earth, in the water, or in the air. Love embracing impartially all beings, and not only those who are useful, pleasing, or amusing to us. Love embracing all beings, be they noble-minded or low-minded, good or evil. The noble and the good are embraced because love is flowing to them spontaneously. The low-minded and evil-minded are included because they are those who are in the most need of love. And many of them the seed of goodness may have died merely because warmth was lacking for its growth, because it perished from cold in a loveless world. Love embracing all beings, knowing well that we are all fellow wayfarers through this round of existence, that we are all overcome by the same law of suffering. Love, but not the sensuous fire that burns, scorches and tortures, that inflicts more wounds than it cures. Flaring up now, and at the next moment, being extinguished, 
leaving behind more coldness and loneliness than was felt before. Rather love that lies like a soft but firm hand on the ailing beings, ever unchanged in its sympathy, without wavering, unconcerned with any response it meets. Love that is comforting coolness to those who burn with the fire of suffering and passion. That is life-giving warmth to those abandoned in the cold desert of loneliness. To those who are shivering in the frost of a loveless world. To those whose hearts have become as if empty and dry by repeated calls for help by deepest despair. Love that is a sublime nobility of heart and intellect, which knows, understands, and is ready to help. Love that is strength and gives strength. This is the highest love. Love by which the Enlightened One was named the liberation of the heart, the most sublime beauty. This is the highest love. And what is the highest manifestation of love? To show the world the path leading to the end of suffering. The path pointed out trodden and realized to perfection by him the exalted one the buddha letting those different impressions resonate and deepen immeasurable love within you landing on whatever inner experience you can touch.
and then send that love out in the form of radiant light, filling yourself up. The light passes through your pores, out in all directions. Filled with light and radiating light. Carrying and embodying loving kindness on each ray. and adding the Chenrezig Mantra. Om Mani Penme Hum 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 Om Mani Pen Feeling the light continuously filling you and radiating out. Dedicating for enlightenment. and relaxing your attention. Okay. See you soon. Thank you, Yunten.